At every front, our government is failing. At every front, our government is expanding, taking over more, doing more, controlling more. And in that context, we now have the House of Representatives under Nancy Pelosi ramming through one of the large in largest increases in government spending, one of the largest increases in government programs in American history. This will be in terms of size, at least, and potentially in terms of scope. We'll see what actually makes it into the $3.5 trillion bill. The largest expansion of government since the 1960s, since the Great Society, which was the largest expansion since FDR's Great uh, FDR's New Deal. FDR took four years, longer really, to get the main New Deal projects passed. Now, they were sweeping and completely changed the world. So nothing Democrats do this time is anywhere near as bad as what FDR did in those four years. But it took him four to eight years to get it passed. In the 1960s, under Johnson, and then the 19, well, 1960s under Johnson, introduction of Medicare, war on poverty, welfare, it took several years for Democrats. And in those days, both under FDR and in the 1960s, Democrats had l large majorities in the House and the Senate. They had a mandate, like it or not, they had a mandate to make big changes. And it took years. Nancy Pelosi is trying to cram something similar in 17 days with no mandate. Because the fact is, Democrats have a, what, five majority in the House and zero majority, really, in the Senate. And yet, they're trying to change the entitlements, expand them dramatically, change things like civil penalties for, for um, uh, unfair labor practices, which will give unions and uh, a, a, a employees huge power over uh, businesses. Massive new mandates around 401ks, a complete change to the way we save money. Universal paid leave. So massive, massive new changes to the relationship between government and the rest of us. I mean, not revolutionary, because they're all just expansion of things that already exist, but these are massive. These are big. And all with the tiniest of majorities, the tiniest of mandates, and all crammed through in 17 days. They want to do it before, I guess, the next recess or whatever. Without the votes. Obamacare took longer, and with Obamacare, the Democrats had 56 votes in the Senate. Whatever they pass here, if they pass it, they'll, get, they'll have 50 votes. With the vice president putting in the tiebreaker. And even with Obamacare, it was hard. You remember what Nancy Pelosi said, though, about Obamacare? We'll find out what's in it after we pass it. We'll find out what's in the bill after we pass the bill. Well, here, nobody's going to know what's in the bill. This is going to be massive. It's going to be much bigger than Obamacare, much more expensive, much more costly, much more expensive. Nobody's going to know when they vote on it. They'll only find out much later. So this is truly horrific. Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, if, she, if they can get this done, it's, uh, it'll be impossible to undo. Uh, I mean, think about, but this is the thing about Democrats. You have to admire Democrats. I mean, uh, not just today, but for the last 100 years. You've got to admire them. 
because of this, they get stuff done. Republicans get nothing done. Zero. They cut taxes. Yippee. But other than that, they get nothing done. Trump did not repeal Obamacare. Republicans now repeal Obamacare. They didn't shrink government spending when they had a majority in the House, a majority in the Senate, and the White House. Under Bush, under Trump, nothing. They did nothing. Nothing good. They did a lot of bad, a lot of bad, particularly under Bush from a legislative perspective. Nothing good. Democrats, when they have significant majorities, you get the New Deal. Where's the Republican anti-New Deal? Never happens. One of Freeman says Democrats can't run a lemonade stand, but they can pass legislation. They can do what's important, which is screw up our lives. Their job is not to run lemonade stands. They don't have to run businesses. They don't have to employ people. But their job is to expand government. They're very good at it. Very good at it. They got a new deal. They got a great society. They passed bill after bill, and then when they can't get their own stuff passed, they got Obamacare. Then the Republicans pass it for them. Like under Bush, we got Sarbanes-Oxley. Basically, Democrats got dodd Frank. Big bills. Obamacare. Obama got big bills in his first two years when he had majorities in the House and Senate. What did Republicans do? What did the pathetic, pathetic presidencies of Bush Sr., Bush Jr., and Donald Trump, who many of you adore, what did they actually do? Nothing. Pass nothing. Undo nothing. Change nothing. The best that best Republicans could do is keep the status quo that the, Repu that the Democrats created. I mean, remember that Trump ran on the fact that he would save Social Security and Medicare. He was a bigger advocate of Social Security and Medicare than the Democrats were. That's why he has to be run out of the Republican Party, because he's just a Democrat. Well, if you didn't want Democrats to win, you shouldn't have elected Trump in 2016. Because since Trump got elected, Democrats won the House. Remember, in 2016, when Trump was elected, he had the House and the Senate. And since Trump was president, Republicans lost the House and lost the Senate. So if you didn't want Democrats to win, you should have never elected Donald Trump in the first place. He's the reason Democrats are winning. He's the reason Democrats are ahead. Not me. Trump reduced regulations at the regulatory agencies. All of that is being turned around like that. Did one bill pass to undo regulations of the past? Did one bill pass? Did Dodd Frank get eliminated? No. Did Sarbanes Oxy get eliminated? No. Did Social Security get reformed? No. Did Medicare get reformed? No. Did Obama get kid get repealed? No. And the reforms that were done were done again at the president's table and can all be undone. Nothing. Did zilch. I'm not saying you should have voted for Hillary. Doesn't mean you should have. Did Trump never tried. He never went to Congress. You should have seen the arm twisting and the effort Obama put into getting Obamacare passed. Man, nine months of constant talking to the American people, doing fireside chats uh, from, the, from the Oval Office, going to Congress, twisting arms, having... Trump did nothing. He didn't care about legislation and legislating and didn't know anything about it and did absolutely nothing. You worship a guy who is one of the most incompetent presidents in all of history in terms of what he actually achieved and what he actually tried to do.
So the fact that Biden is president today is not surprising given the incompetence of the previous administration. Given the incompetence of Republicans for generations now, not being able to do anything. So you have to admire the Democrats for their ambition. When they come in, they've immediately got $3.5 trillion we're going to spend. Imagine if Republicans came in and said, we've got $3.5 trillion to cut, and we're going to do it. We're going to achieve it. And the reason the Democrats can do it is because the Democrats have the moral high ground. The Democrats know what they want. The Democrats are statists explicitly. They're not embarrassed by it. Republicans actually stand for nothing. We know what the Democrats stand for. They stand for statism, bigger government, more government involvement, control over your life, regulating your everything you do. What do Republicans stand for? Um, regulating a little bit less, lower taxes. But otherwise, we agree with the Democrats. Everything else is fine. Unbelievable. So Republicans stand for nothing. They are, they are committed to nothing. They have no, 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 more, you know, more backbone. They wimpishly say, yeah, debt is too high. We should have a balanced budget. We should cut spending. But, but don't quote me on that. Please don't quote me on that. Democrats, you know exactly what you're getting. Republicans hide what they're really about. What they're really about is Democrats light, all of them, from Trump on, all of them. Democrats light, maybe. In some ways, Democrats heavy, but certainly Democrats light. So what we get today is the consequence of our two-party system, all committed to statism, all committed to big government, all committed to running your lives, all committed to government involvement in your health care, all committed to destroying what America actually stands for. Yeah, I like that. One of Freeman says the Republicans are just followers. Absolutely. Republicans follow the Democrats. They're just a little slow, so it takes them longer to get there. But they're always there. They're always there. They always embrace the agenda set forward by the Democrats. Always, and always have. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and, uh, and show your support for all for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. 
So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.